In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of cosecant squared x over cotangent cubed x dx. For the most part, it's going to be a basic u substitution, um, and then we'll have some discussion at the end just exactly how far do you really have to go with this. All right, hopefully you know your um, derivatives well enough that you know that the derivative of cotangent is a negative cosecant squared. Okay, so that's going to make this a nice u substitution. So we're going to start by letting u equal that cotangent of x. We're going to take the derivative of both sides, so du is going to be equal to a negative cosecant squared x dx. I'm going to go ahead and solve for dx, divide both sides by that negative cosecant squared, so then I'll have a u squared, a du rather, um, all over a negative cosecant squared x is equal to dx. Okay, now we'll come back up to that original um, integral and do some substitutions here. We'll have the integral. We're going to leave that numerator alone, so cosecant squared x. All right, in the bottom, since I let u be cotangent x, then we'll have a u cubed on the bottom times, replacing that dx, we'll replace that with a du over the negative cosecant squared x. Okay, that's going to allow us then to cross out those cosecant squared of x's. I'm also going to take that negative and pull it out in front. So then I'll have a negative, the integral of 1 over u to the third du. That'll integrate really simply by moving that up to the top and making it a negative 3. So I'll have negative the integral of u to the negative third du. All right, this is a straightforward um, integration here. Adding 1 is going to give me a negative 2 there. So I'll have a negative that's on the outside. Um, negative 2 here. Reciprocal will give me the negative 1 half on top, u to the negative 2, and then I can do plus c. At this point, I'm going to choose to move um, this u to the negative 2 down, and I'm going to take care of these two negatives. Negative times negative is going to give me a positive. So then I'm going to have a 1 half times a 1 over u squared plus c. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and put my u back in. u is cotangent t. So, or cotangent x. So I'm going to have a 1 half times a 1 over cotangent x squared plus c. Okay, almost forgot the squared. All right, now at this point, technically, are you done? How far do you have to go? All right, hopefully you recognize 1 over cotangent squared x. That's a pretty um, easy reciprocal identity. That's going to be a tangent squared. All right, so depending on your particular um, instructor, they might want you to go a little bit farther and say 1 half tangent squared x plus c. Okay, so um, I, you do an integral calculator online, that first answer they give you is that, all right? But that's a pretty easy substitution right there. All right, now let's go up and keep looking. You know, how many substitutions do you have to go? This tangent squared x, you know, that's a pretty popular Pythagorean identity. So secant squared x minus 1. So I could make that substitution. So if I did a 1 half and then I did a secant squared x minus 1, and then I still have that plus c constant out there. Okay, then, well, what kind of manipulations would I want to do next? If I distribute that 1 half, I'd have a 1 half secant squared x minus a 1 half plus a c. All right, well, here's a constant. This is also a constant. So if we just grouped those together, then I could do a 1 half secant squared x plus now if you're showing your steps and progressing through you might want to do a you know constant so you know with the subscript one because this constant and this constant would be two different numbers okay um, maybe if you're going straight from here to here without showing those steps in there you wouldn't have to denote that so um, really in all honesty how far you go on this particular integral would really de be dependent upon your individual instructor Okay, so um, just a basic straightforward u substitution until you get down there to an end, the end and then you've got to make some decisions. Definitely thanks for watching and if the videos are helping, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.